Running your own business can be lonely, finding reliable professionals difficult, and generating new business challenging, but not when you have a business network. New Gen Networking provides its members with new and exciting business opportunities, with the chance to build lasting relationships with vetted businesses who can act as your sales team and solve the issue of who to turn to in your hour of need. With a range of flexible and affordable solutions, New Gen apply tried and tested principles in a modern way to suit today's world. To find the right option for your business, visit newgen-networking.com or call 033-600-680. New Gen Networking. New business, new contacts, a new generation of networking. You're listening to the New Gen Podcast exclusively on the Pod Station. Here is an interview with one of our members from the Da Vinci Hub. Can we have a, a warm welcome for each star, please? Yes. Right, uh, it's good that you're here. Thank you. One of our newest members, mm-hmm. New Gen. So can you just, for the benefit of everyone, give us a little bit of background? Yep. Okay, so like a lot of the people in this room, basically, I started off in human resources, um, so very different to what I've ended up doing. I was the HR director for a global automotive company for 15 years and was working based out of the Middle East, um, had responsibility for North America, Middle East and Southeast Asia. Loved my job, got a lot of opportunities to travel, um, had a nice salary at the same time um, and was um, embarking on some property development while I was out there. So I was buying and selling uh, real estate, which you know a lot about, John. Um, And um, had to leave my career in 2019 due to some care responsibilities back here in the UK. Um, Didn't have the opportunity to kind of retrain in UK HR legislation because it would have taken too long and I needed the flexibility to be a carer and work. So given the experience I had with property development, I set up my building contracting company in January 2020 because I had a group of um, tradespeople that I'd been working with and um, so it was just kind of a, a thing that I'd always enjoyed doing and I thought, okay, let's just do it and figured that the HR experience would be beneficial because it it was more of I could get the team to be the technical team but then I could bring the the ethical caring communicative side of building contracting that isn't always there so that was super useful and then um started my interior design diploma in December 29 2019 and then um because of covid and the need to pivot because of lockdown because we couldn't do as much work as we had hoped i set up ancora interiors in april 2020 wait 2021 sorry so (laughs) yeah um so do you work mostly with private or is it business clients so because of the 18 well nearly two years of Um, experience that I've got with residential projects that is kind of my go-to because I understand how it all works and um, I'm quite passionate about working with people who want to make their homes look beautiful but also would love to work with kind of uh, commercial customers um, as well but particularly small to medium sized ones Um, I provide fully fledged interior design services um, and kind of the USP for my business is the digital visualizations that I do because a lot of my clients come to me saying I don't know what I kind of know what I want it to look like so they've got Instagram posts or Pinterest site ideas but they don't know what their space is going to look like once everything's in so that's kind of my USP that I can provide that digital um, view of what it's going to look like and we can tweak it and change it as much as possible yeah. until they're super happy and then they've got like yeah this is what it's going to look like before we get to work right, okay. um, um, that, that's one of the things where you 
it's just about in value really rather than people just doing it themselves and thinking I'll see how this goes well and yeah how it looks, I mean you do get people who obviously can look at an Instagram <coughs> post and um, think that they can do it and absolutely they can do it but you know most of the people that I work with can't visualize or don't have the time or yeah. want to be able to benefit from you know me being able to research um, items of furniture or a look so that it works within their budget because a lot of the time people have limited budgets yeah. and so they can't afford to get you know exactly the furniture that's on Instagram or Pinterest into their home so that's where I can add value as well that's brilliant yeah okay and I know you've already mentioned today you mentioned about working with Carl um yeah are there other sorts of professions or other trades? Is that something you're trying to develop more? Yes. Teams? So I had a really great one-to-one with Joanne from RM Roofing and uh, looking to collaborate with those guys a little bit more as we are with Eco Deco with Carl. Nice. Um, but also we're um, always on the lookout to, to work with other trades. So joiners are uh, you know really difficult to come by. But anybody who has some experience in commercial fit out would be a great partner for mm. us. Yeah. Um, and just general trades in in any yeah. case yeah. where we can add value to them and they can support yeah. our work as well yeah. and you're, you're so you're, you're going to be able to give them a lot of work aren't you because you're working yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not just taking work off from you're giving yeah. them work for well time. i mean like the work that carl and i have already done is is testament to that and he would now be my you know partner for for a lot of our projects mm. so i just really want to build strong relationships particularly in the Wirral and manchester area yeah. which is where we're focusing on for right. trades yeah mm-hmm. so obviously joining joining you jen um yes. I'm just carrying on that, what you just talked about. What What is an ideal referral? I mean, as well as the trades and things, what sort of clients are you looking for? Or? So uh, ideally small to medium-sized businesses looking to make their first offices or their second offices like something amazing and yeah. who want to really work collaboratively <clears throat> with me. Um, that I'm all for working with people who have hearts um, and you know want to have yeah. an enjoyable process. So that would be great. Uh, property investors um, who want to you know design an HMO um, or serviced accommodation that would mm. stand out in the crowd yeah. um, or other great referral partners would be commercial brokers, conveyances, accountants, estate agents. Right. Yeah. Because I think architects as well. Architects, and and making surveyors, like all that. of those kind of people would be super helpful for me. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. Really interesting. <laughs> yeah, sort of, I know we've had a good sort of chat and we've had a we good have, one-to-one. Yeah. And all I would say is it's well worth sitting down with Ishtar and having a one-to-one. I'm sure you've got a few questions. If, has anybody got anything they would like to ask? Ish, how long does the process take? from start to finish when designing a room? So generally if it's a, a residential project and it's a room in a house, it would probably take about two week process. Every process is dependent on really the size of the space, how much contact you have with a customer during that period of time. But I wouldn't ever want to leave it longer than that period so that it's as you know effective as possible. For commercial projects, obviously it takes a lot longer. The dental practice that I'm working on at the moment is going on forever because they're working during the day. We only have access over you know in the evenings and stuff so it's very much dependent on project but residential generally two weeks okay. hi hi <laughs> i'm sure you get asked this a lot can you help people who don't know what their interior style is yes basically one of the things that we're taught about in school um interior design school is how to help people who don't know what look they're looking for really hone down on what that is so that's just me having lo- asking lots and lots of questions but also sharing a lot of visuals until customers can identify certain elements in a room and it could be that you don't have a specific style it could be that you're eclectic and you like a little bit of this and a little bit of that and my job is to kind of pull all of those ideas together and make your room look perfect for you even if it doesn't necessarily fit into a particular style or you know a channel my job is to make your room look perfect for you so yeah brilliant okay i'm only going to pick on carl how working working with this how's it sort of work that the, the way you've worked together from uh, yeah, we just on the dentist and uh, the process was quite simple because Ishtar had all the plans in place so there was no hassle involved. Literally we turned up and we painted, which is ideal for us because yeah. we haven't got to deal with customers. I don't like that colour and this, that and the other. It's all sorted. It's done. So it's a seamless process and anyone who wants to use that, you'll, you'll get that service. Yeah. Hassle whatsoever. We have to put our hands together again for each talk. Thank, Thank you. you.
If you would like to visit one of our online or face-to-face -face hubs, visit newgen-networking.com and book a place. Get social at Network New Gen on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn.